welcome to MAL TV and this right here is Daily Bass with your girl JQ. Now guys, if you know what is trending in Ghana, you definitely know that the conversations around the LGBTQI is a hot topic on the minds and lips of Ghanaians. And this is because an office was recently opened up for, you know, the course of, you know, um, addressing LGBTQI issues in Ghana and a lot of Ghanaians have been you know sharing their opinions and giving varied reasons as to why it's a good call and it's not a good call but one person who um, in giving his contributions to the ongoing debate is Ghanaian journalist Ignatius Anno. Now Ignatius Anno was a former journalist for Ghana's Metro TV and some year back in 2015 there were issues surrounding his sexuality which he came out to deny and said no he's not gay and anything that had any you know issues about his sexuality and all the conversations were rumors and should be disregarded. However, in sharing his contribution to the ongoing debate, Ignatius has openly come out on live television. Now, in an interview with Joy News' um, Aisha Ibrahim on PM Express, Ignatius says he, he was you know, he was scared to open up about his sexuality because he feared the stigma and he feared he might lose his job if he had opened up to say he was gay. And he's only saying it now because he feels in, he's in an environment which is safe and, you know, okay for him to come out and also show his support directly with the people in his LGBTQ community. Now, Ignatius is currently a journalist with Euro News' African News, which is in France and has been working there for a long time now. Now moving on to our next business story for today, it has to do with the man Funny Face and if you guys know, we have been talking about Funny Face for over months now. Every single week there is a new update in his life and this time it's some very very good news. So the man Funny Face is seeking help at the Accra Psychiatry Hospital and in the process of his you know re uh, counseling and rehabilitation whatever it is that he's going through at the facility he's been able to meet up with his baby mama and his three kids. Now it was made possible by actor Kweku Menu who vowed in one of his social media posts that he was going to make sure Funny Face's baby mama Vanessa reconciles with Funny Face and to help reduce all the trauma Funny Face is going through in regards to his recent arrest and all of that. And that happened when Vanessa and his kids visited him and his doctor at the Aka Psychiatry Hospital. Now there were very lovely photos of them together with Funny Face in high spirits and you know smiling. The kids looked adorable. Um, Ama Vanessa looked really happy as well, so we hope this, you know, joyous moment would be on forever and ever. However, after the visit to Funny Face, um, Ama Vanessa was in an interview on Angel TV, uh, Angel FM, which streamed on Angel TV. And according to her, she would be most glad and most happy if she's upgraded from baby mama <laughs> to wife. Like, she wants that accolade of wife of funny face she wants that she's tired of people tagging it as the baby mama baby mama baby mama of funny face and that is the only condition that would make her return back into funny faces life and into funny faces home so people should get ready because if funny face should go through his um his process or whatever it is he's going through at the across our country hospital the next step will be you know wifing up ama vanessa and they're going back to being a happy family all together I, for one, am very excited about the development so far. I just hope it continues in the good light and Funny Face does not, you know, um, regress back and goes to his social media ranting days. I pray he gets the, the help that he needs and that if he's to have his family back together with him and Ama Vanessa, all of these traumas and all of these troubles he's going through will be a thing of the past. So guys, ending today's buzz with an exclusive to Amayao TV. If you guys recall, some um, you know weeks ago, there was a viral video of a musician and a music video vixen who were shooting a scene at the beach, and then the the lady you know fled up and said that the musician was. Um, you know, touching her inappropriately and then everybody was having a say as to if it was right, if it was wrong, if the girl was trying her home or whatever. We didn't know the inside story of what happened, but the musician in question who was in the video, who goes by the name Spyro Bium, has given his side of the story and some very, very interesting details as well. Take a listen and I'll be back. <laughs> na sin sin e ka be bi o si twa kan o na sa sin ne o se mini go bi ne o si place sa sin no 
Nti ye kwa na ye che video na wana geni si mimi mi ano. Oh, geni si mimi mi ano nti ni bu ofu wen che video ni bi na wajai. Ah, ombi a friend omu si ansa de osi mi 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 ano bu ofu. Nti bu ofu ni mi no. Me bi bi a say ye. Nti free ho be free. Video ni nti mi en che mi. Nti ako ba na sa ano. Anapa mandi, ya sandi, anapa mandi kwe juma. Tuesday. Ene mi humu se video bi trendy, ewe social media. E trendy. I don't know who posted that video. Ah, me wawa police, ewe chemi. Ade ya, ya se, ihi ya me, ewe police office. Ey. Ada maya day, ina mi diyo mochi ni yoko. Yoko ya, agaya na kubo mi sospe ni se, mi 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 anu, mi 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 anu, ni adi adi mi pesi mi mi fifi na anu, ni adi adi yina. Ema, asem, ni kwe ya asem. Ema, ino su, yoko puri station, hobe ye four times. An sana, ino su wang asem. Ti, Gea no wami enche video ni bi ma sem ni se. So ni ma kupuri station. Ama wako gume ni ma se. Se me mi mi anu. A bera a video wami enche bi ma. Wabo me ka because. Mi si ka mi di che video no. Kamere ko hai. E du yani ko omu di ka omu fa yi bi bi a ya mi ka. Inti se ge ne enche video ni bi ma wabo me ka. Inti e ni anu mi ni andofo. Mwishe na mwen kama si mi mi mame na mwen jeji mame. Hmm. Iti e mi anom ase mi yabe kande se. So, for me what is, you know, intriguing is the fact that the guy had gone to the police station over four times, you know, back and forth over the whole dilemma. And then his problem is the fact that if this issue has been sorted, why is the video still out on social media? Why are people bashing him? Like, it cannot, it's probably not even the girl who shared the video. Maybe some other member of the crew who took the video and shared it. So, with his question that he asked at the end, I don't know what to say. But, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think the guy was right? Do you think the lady was right? Whatever your opinions are, do drop them in the comment section below. So, that's all for today's Daily Buzz. Make sure to follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and on Instagram guys thank you so much we always tell you to follow and you keep following us we hit 200,000 followers whoop, 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 whoop. we promise to give you more content and more entertainment so subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the button right there and watch all our videos to make us get the views and get the shmoney because that is most important love you guys we'll see you on another episode of Daily Bass I'm JQ I'm out